All right, I want to talk a little bit about fail safes. A lot of pro pilots out there will, you know, tell you how you set your fail safe that immediately at a loss of any signal, the quad drops out of the sky. So you have this brick flying at an angle and it just shuts off and whatever uh, line it's going, it's going to keep going in that line and lose altitude and hit whatever it's going to hit either way. I have another alternative for people to consider is to try to set up your fail safe so that you have a little bit of time to recover from it and fly on and land safely. So why don't you check out some of these clips of some recoverable fail safes and then we'll meet back on the other side. Okie dokie, so we're on board with my Martian 2 frame here and you can see I'm down to the lower right there so I'm not really that far away uh, for some of these fail safes, it's just a really bad receiver. Also, to excuse the VTX as well, that's a bad VTX, it's no longer on. See the first fail safe here, just because of the trees, um, was able to slide through and recover on that one. You know, I would have not wanted the quad to just fall from the sky immediately because of that. That would have probably hit the building, maybe, I'm not sure. But uh, here's another one, just kind of doing a little luge in the horse field. And um, another fail safe a little farther away, boom. Again, able to recover, picked up the transmitter a little bit to get out of that one. Um, so there, plenty of altitude, but nevertheless, um, it would have been quite a fall. Uh, a little flip here. Oh, by the way, this is uh, my homestead where I grew up. So uh, just a little quick flight here over the Christmas holiday. And apparently, uh, radio signals don't like to go through tin buildings. So there had one raised the receive, you know, raised the transmitter up, and then punched out of it. But again, did not, would, you know, prefer to be able to recover from those than not. So, to get your failsafe set up in this manner, what you want to do is go into beta flight, and I have a little clip on if you have a PWM or PPM receiver and what you need to uh, possibly do to get your failsafes to activate appropriately. So I'll clip to that in the upper right hand corner. But essentially the technique is that you're going to use, you know, the phase one, stage one, and stage two of failsafe. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is uh, with this is what we're going to do essentially is set your uh, copter to go into angle mode or auto level. So really to do that you'd have to have a mode set up on a switch, auxiliary 2 in this example, that when the auxiliary 2 is at 1500 microseconds or whatever it would be, maybe it's up, you know, maybe you have it set so it's up here and then when this switch is down at zero it's in rate mode, that it's going to be in angle mode. Uh, uh, the downside is you have to have your accelerator, accelerometer turned on for that to uh, to have angle mode, so that does take up some processing power. So that that's really the downside of it. But uh, other than that, if you can spare some processor power to keep your accelerometer working, then uh, it's really simple. Uh, in stage one, you uh, instead of using a hold value here, you would do that as a set and then set that that pulse to be 1500 so it would automatically trigger your quad to go into fail into angle mode once stage one fail safe initiates. Uh, with that you need to give yourself a little bit of time to to recover so the 20 gives two seconds uh, 30 seconds so you want to give yourself some sort of time uh, to essentially recognize you're in fail safe it's going to be coming up on your OSD even if you don't have an OSD you're going to see your quad level out and then you can you know pick your, uh, you know, raise your transmitter up in the air to try to get signal back quick. And, you know, do something. You have two seconds. Um, usually, you can recover from it and, and pick up um, signal again and then bring the quad back or so on and so forth. Another thing I, d I do, and I know it's controversial, a lot of people say it should just drop. Well, I'm going to have it auto level. It's going to wait two seconds, and then I'm going to have it um, basically go to a throttle value that I know and I've confirmed that um, slowly descends the quad. Now it's only going to do that for three seconds so if I'm at a pretty decent uh, altitude it's going to slowly start to descend and then the motor is going to shut off and it's just going to drop but at least I'm you know giving it some um, some cushion to start to descend and then hopefully drop straight down and and protect as much as I can uh, on the equipment. 
So you do need to test this and a way to test that because uh, obviously you really don't want to make sure and I wouldn't you know go anything more than three to five seconds because on it, if you're a low altitude when it if it lands and you're close to the ground those motors are going to keep spinning uh, and you could burn an ESC so three seconds to me is plenty long but set that however you desire. Uh, to test that uh, you would want to initiate a fail safe uh, mode here on maybe auxiliary three or whichever so you can do some tests um, in the air where you can trigger fail safe manually make sure that it goes through the stages and descends and um, you know just confirm everything's working right so don't don't miss that step so I've done that as well uh, land mode uh, so you'd set this at the pulse modulation for what would take to slowly descend and then the value of, of uh, how long you want that to be in land mode. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're totally against this, please don't comment. Uh, just set it to drop, and then you can do the drop. And if you don't like this value at two seconds, or you want it at half a second. Okay, well that half a second. So whatever you like. But these are, uh, you know, some of my settings, and uh, it seems to work for me pretty well. So I figured I'd put this out there and uh, give some, uh, give people something to think about. All right, guys. Thanks, and I hope this helps.